everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood hanger hobbit here, and welcome aboard the Hungarian 109, the goulash edition. Yes, I figured for Halloween, instead of being all tricksy, we'd offer treats. Nice hot steaming bowls of goulash to those poor starving allied pilots. Isn't that very nice of us? Sadly, our team has made kind of a boo-boo. Yep. The entire bloody team has dove to the deck to chase the tanker trash. That leaves just poor little old me all by myself up here. Am I scared? Am I worried? Am I having, as Chieftain calls it, a significant emotional event? No, of course not. Because I am filled with the happiness. Because I am flying a 109 G2. Oh, and I've always loved Willie Messerschmitt's toys. They always give me a happy. Oh, let's see if we can give somebody else a happy. Yes, we've got plenty of goulash that we want to share. Oh, it's a Corsair. How are you doing, Mr. Corsair? Would you like a treat? Yes, it's fresh, it's hot, it's steamy bowl of goulash. And it's all for you. Isn't that nice? Here you go. Have some goulash. Oh, you got a hole in your left wing. I guess we can call him Stumpy now. Are you going to go down, Stumpy? Or are you going to need a second helping? Yep, it looks like Stumpy's going to need a second helping. And his buddies have done dove to the deck, so that's okay. I've got time to share some more goulash with you, Stumpy. Especially since you're getting close to that base. And I don't think I'm going to let you get there. While I'm getting over here, let me tell you a little bit about this bird. Do you know it's controversial? Yeah, apparently Hungarians and Romanians don't get along with each other. They've been fighting for about 700 years now. Oh, are you going to hold still for me, Stumpy? Got to give him credit. He's trying to fight for his little life. But yeah, I don't think that thing's flying so good right now. Yep. Reason the Hungarians didn't like this bird. In fact, they called Gajan all kinds of dirty names when they put it out. It's because the alternate skin for this is the Romanian vamp bat. Yeah, they were not happy. In fact, they were downright irked. Oh, can't say I blame them. Not very smart putting the skin of somebody they hate on their freaking bird. Oh, come here, Stumpy. I want to give you goo. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think you're going to recover from that. Oh, and speaking of irked. Wow. He really not happy with me. I don't think you're going to recover. Nope. Thank you. Enjoy your goulash. Now, do you see why diving to the deck, though, to chase the tanker trash is not always the smartest idea? Guess what? I'm all alone. It's just me and the boomers. And there's not one, not two, but three fighters left. Am I stressed? Am I worried? Of course not. I'm in a G2 non trop which always puts a smile on this little hobbit's face. It really does. Oh, this bird. The agility, the high speed handling, the low speed handling, the dive, the climb. Oh, it's just like peanut butter and chocolate. It just goes so good together. Oh, look what we got here. A couple of Mustangs. We got some ponies with their hot dog launchers. And you want to bet they're going to try to pull up for me and share their nasty old hot dogs? Yep, that's exactly what they're going to try to do. Silly little ponies, I don't want your hot dogs. I got plenty of fresh steaming hot goulash to share. Yes, would you like a bowl there, Mr. Pony? Ooh, I think I overcooked the goulash there. It was a little hot. Yeah, that was a smoking bowl. Yep, I'm sorry about that. Hope it didn't burn your mouth there, buddy. All right, 
Hello, second Mustang. Now here's something I see a lot of players mess up. Never forget throttle and flaps. When you're on somebody six, you hold all the cards, but it's up to you to keep yourself where you need to be. This guy is doing all the maneuvers he can, except cutting his throttle. That's where he's making the boo-boos. See, if he was to chop throttle and pop his flaps, he might be able to get me to pull an overshoot. Well, he might get somebody else to pull an overshoot. I'm not going to fall for it. But, ooh, say goodbye to that tail control. Yep. The second I got on his six, all I had to do was chop that throttle just a bit. He wasn't going nowhere. Ooh, and he called me dirty names. I just wish him a nice day. I'm too happy to be ugly about things. I'm a happy hobbit. Oh, but look at this. We got us an F6F. Mr. Hellcat, and he looks extra excited to get some goulash. Oh, yes. I will be happy to share some goulash with you, Mr. Hellcats. Come on. Come here. I'll give you a big heaping bowl of it. All for you. Oh, isn't that just rude? Slams it into the ground just to keep from getting some goulash. That makes me sad. Well, it makes me a little sad, but I can't be too sad flying this. It's just too pretty. Yes, yeah, so I put on my happy smoke. And let's see how we do. Come on, Gaijin. Give me the numbers. And, oh, yeah. I will be more than happy to take second place with three kills. Yeah. Kind of hard to get first place in this thing, though, because of all them freaking 264s sucking up all the freaking points. Quite irritating. Now, I'm sorry if this is going to get a bit ranty, but I have to agree with the Hungarians. Why didn't they just bring back the Romanian vampire bat in the German tree? Which brings up something that's really stuck in my crawl. You see, I've gotten all kinds of ugly comments both in chats and in some videos by the European Canadian when I suggested that they should bring back some of the stuff that's been gone for years, like the Romanian vampire bat, so that the new players can get to play them. And you always get these greedy little suckers that are like, No, I've got something unique. They should never bring it back. Nobody else should have it. You know what? Bite me. Do you know how many rare birds that I personally have? Romanian Vampire Bat, British D520, Premium Tiffy. I've got freaking tons of freaking rare birds. Would it make me upset if they were to come back and be offered? No, it would make me happy because these are wonderful aircraft that people should get to fly. You look at the numbers of how many freaking people a month fly some of these birds. Some of these birds are maybe getting one match a month, if that. Now, I agree if it was something like a tournament where you had to kill yourself to get it, like that E-100. Yeah, leave it out. Only have it for tournaments. I agree. If it was something where you could just whip out your credit card and buy it, or if it was in some event where you could literally just whip out your credit card and buy it? Eh, no. You're just being a greedy pig. Let other people have some fun. Why do stuff like this where you friggin' pee off the entire country of Hungary by giving them the Romanian skin when you could have just brought back the Romanian vampire bat in the German tree? And then the Romanians would have had their bird. The Hungarians would have had their own bird. And everybody could have just been happy. Wouldn't that have made more sense? Wouldn't that have been nicer? I mean, is there anybody in this game that's going to complain? Oh my God, it's another 109. It flies great. We shouldn't have it. Of course not. Give me a freaking break. Heck, if I had my way, we'd have every freaking version of the P-40, every freaking version of the P-39, the 109, the 190. More birds is always better. So, no. Bring back the old birds 
and let everybody have some fun. Speaking of fun, let's talk about how you fly this bird to get the maximum fun. Yeah, you can put on the gun pods, and I know some people love the gun pods. But really, especially with so many German teams these days chasing tanker trash at 200 feet off the ground, your best bet to just rule the freaking roost is to climb and freaking be the air superiority fighter for your team. Because believe me, this thing climbs like a bat out of hell. You will get so high so quickly, especially if you leave off them gun pods. I mean, look over there to the right. The other 109s, the G55. I'm above everybody. This baby will shoot you right to the freaking top of the space in no time at all. So while two-thirds of your team is down on the ground chasing those tanker trash, flying their freaking tiffies and P-47 strapped down with junk, get up here. Get up here in the beautiful clouds. Smack down everything that was stupid enough to try to climb up to you. Then you will be having maximum funnage with this beautiful, beautiful bird. Oh, but it looks like we got some more customers for goulash. Which one wants the goulash? Mustang or nope, yak attacks. Oh, yep, I overcooked that one again. I'm sorry. It was a little too hot. Yep, I scorched your mouth there a bit. That's okay, it's still tasty. Enjoy that, because I certainly did. Thank you, I do appreciate that. And I bet some of you are wondering why I have the guns joined when normally I have guns split on birds. Uh, after the first three matches I found, I was into the match and still had a full friggin' MG load. I never fired the stupid things. I mean, if you're up here in space, you're not shooting ground targets. So, what was the point? I might as well throw them suckers in there and get a little extra weight of shot. Because otherwise, they're just going to waste. Because I'm not going to be ground farming in a 109. That would be silly. Oh, hello, Mr. P-51. Whoa, look at all the hot dogs. Boy, he's spraying hot dogs everywhere. No, thank you, though. I appreciate the offer, but I don't want no hot dogs today. Today, it's all about the goulash. Tasty, tasty goulash. Oh, and what do we got down here? It's a Spitfire. It's a T-Swiller. Oh, would you like some? No. Nope, he caught some hot dogs from the Hitler boats. And you know my rule, if it burns, you don't get a turn. I don't want anybody accusing me of being a nasty old team killer, kill stealer, or any of those bad things. No, I'm a happy hobbit. I'm just here to share fresh bowls of goulash with all those starving allied pilots and be nice. We have too many toxic players as it is. There should be more niceness, don't you think? Speaking of being nice, I saw a thunderbolt down here toiling in the fields farming the ground targets. And you know what's nice after a hard day's labor? Why a nice warm hearty bowl of goulash. Yes, that'll warm his little tummy. You come here, Mr. Thunderbolt. Have some supper. Oh, he exploded for joy. Yes, that goulash was delivered just right. And as you can see in the chat, I let him know to enjoy his goulash. Yes, be friendly. Be nice. We need more of that. Now, I'd love to tell you some more about this bird, but... Honestly, there ain't a whole lot to tell. Hungary was kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place with Hitler on one side and Stalin on the other. So, yeah. Ended up joining the Axis power and Germany said, here's some 109's Eastern Front that way. And we all know how the Eastern Front ended up turning out. Not so good for anybody. Yeah, that ended up quite a bloody mess. 
Oh, speaking of bloody mess, poor Mr. P-51, he got run into by the Hitler Bolt hot dog launcher before I could share any goulash. Oh, that's a shame. He had to settle with cheap hot dogs instead of warm, warm, delicious goulash. Oh, well. Too, be- too few birds. Not enough time to share the goulash with all. Oh, but look what we got up there. It's a Spitfire. Oh, it's a tea swiller Hmm, I wonder if he would like some goulash to go with that tea. I bet that would be nice. Oh, and some more ponies. Who don't like the ponies? Yes, I will share goulash with the pony. And he will be happy and warm on a cold, cold fall day. What a nice thing of me. Yes. Yes, that is what I will do. I will share delicious warm hot goulash with the ponies and the tea swillers. Oh, and look at them getting tunnel visioned on the boomers. Ah, uh, that's... No, why? Especially it's a 264. Those things are uh, bad as tumor fours. Seriously? Why? Why would you do that? Get away from them. Uh, I've seen so many guys chase those things from one side to the other only to get shot down. It's just nuts. Oh, but looky what we got here. Oh, hello, Mr. Mustang. Aren't you pretty? Here, have some goulash. Oh, yes. That one was extra hot. Oh, and he exploded for joy, too. Yes, I'm glad you enjoyed that. Yes, have a happy goulash. Oh, and I have to say, whoever designed this skin for Gaijin, is this a historical? If it is, man, they had good taste in paint. I have to love that Hungarian flag on the tail. Uh, it reminds me of a peppermint stick. Yeah, who could, who could be upset or unhappy at something like that? Oh, look. I see me it's a spitfire. So I offer him some goulash in the all chat. Just so he knows that fresh hot goulash is about to be delivered. Yes, I could surprise him with goulash. But no, no, I want him to know that he now has to go hungry. No, I will give you plenty of fresh hot goulash. It will be delicious. Yes, I see you, 190. Quit panicking. I'm working on it. I'm trying to deliver the goulash. Oh, got a little too much speed on that. It's one thing you gotta watch out with this thing is because, good lord, this thing can generate the speed. Oh, but there we are. Hello. Goulash delivery. Oh, enjoy that. Yummy for your tummy. All kinds of delicious nutrients. Enjoy your goulash. Oh, yes. And I think that was the last dude. That's a shame. Look at how much ammo I got left. I could have shared lots more goulash. Oh, well, let's see how we did. Oh, another second, but before it kills, I will be happy to take that. I'm not going to complain about that a bit. Not when I'm having such a good time. Let's see how it pays. Ooh, being a goulash delivery service pays pretty dang well. Heck yes. I'm more than happy to take that paycheck. Oh, so what do I think about this bird? Oh, this is just loveliness. It really is. It climbs great. It dives great. It handles great. Got great firepower. You can slap on gun pods or a bomb if the last guy runs to space and you don't want to mess with him. Heck yeah. If you miss the Romanian vampire bat, get your Hungarian goulash launcher. It will just put a big old smile on your face. And you can make all those little allied pilots so happy when you share them big steaming bowls of goulash. Well, be sure to like and share, and I hope to see you up there in the clouds. Have a good one, y'all.